Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hey, Valder, how are you? Hi, Hill Harper. Thank you so much for joining me here live in the Valder BB Show studios in Dallas, Texas. Oh, it's amazing to be talking to you again. Well, I, uh, I always love it when I see you on my calendar coming up. I'd like to let my listening audience know I'm talking to the award-winning actor and best-selling author, Hill Harper. He's in The Boy Next Door with Jennifer Lopez, and he's going to talk with us about that and hopefully Mass Mutual's future smart challenge hill you've been very busy i know yes you know it's it's been a real blessing uh the partnership that i have with mass mutual to do this future smart challenge has kept us very 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 busy we just did our our our, our latest uh event in the boston garden the td garden in boston with the celtics and we had uh, uh thousands of middle schoolers from boston out and it was just a fantastic fantastic uh day and program well, tell us what the uh, Future Smart Challenge is, because according to the statistics that I received, 72% of Americans believe it's important to educate our ch children on finances. Yeah, it's, it's, Valor, it's not even, it's not, it's not important, it's critical. If we're going to really try to secure um, our economy in the future in this country, we have to be more financially literate. And the problem is we don't teach this in the schools. And it makes, actually, it makes no sense to me. Uh, that we don't teach financial literacy. It should be, you know, history, uh, 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 science, geometry. We need to teach math. We need to teach finances. We need to teach you how to budget. We need to teach you how to not get into credit card debt. We need to teach you the time value of money and how to set up a, a free student savings account and, and know the difference between smart money and dumb money. And so it's great that a, a for-profit corporation like Mass Mutual decided to to use their community responsibility piece and put their money where their mouth is. They spent over $2 million, and we've reached in person over 20,000 students, but we think there's a ripple effect that, you know, students influence other students. And if we can empower young leaders, and if they're talking about, hey, I, I set up a, a, a student savings account, or hey, that's, smart, that's, that's dumb money, what you're about to spend. I'm all about that smart money. Um, then we're actually impacting more students than we reach uh, individually and so I'm really proud of the program I'm, I'm proud of the partnership with Mass Mutual the NBA and with Junior Achievement I'm sure they're targeting children but what about when you live in a home where parents don't understand the difference between dumb money and smart money well, are we thinking the children will help educate them yeah that's a great point absolutely we believe that we empower young leaders they can go back into their families and have conversations let's let's let me give you a concrete example in many of our traditionally underserved communities, um, we have predatory uh, uh, instruments that are out there. We have payday lenders. Uh, we have uh, uh, rent-to-own shops. We have folks, you know, getting marketed uh, high interest loan credit cards to all the time. Uh, we have fewer national bank chains in these communities to have traditional uh, banking opportunities and access to that. So if we can get our young people to actually go back into their homes and start having these conversations with their parents, they can become, they can start teaching their parents about the difference between smart money and dumb money. I'd rather have a, a young person let their parent know about, rather than going to a payday lender and taking their paycheck there and having that payday lender take 18 percent possibly out of their paycheck, Okay, maybe it's better to spend 30, 45 minutes on a bus to go to a traditional bank and set up a low-cost savings account and use that. Is that, is, you know, it's worth it. Your time value of money is worth setting up that traditional savings account. 
I'm thinking this can actually work, and I'm sure they've done their homework. I'm thinking of in non-English speaking homes, well, no matter what the language is, younger children are the interpreters, so they tell their parents what's going on in the wider world. So this information coming from children about money, whether they speak English or not, this is a great way to get to parents also. Absolutely. In city to city, our primary, primary audience has been African Americans and, his, and Hispanic students. And many of the Hispanic students are, are individuals that are bilingual and they, in, in, in many cases the parents may not even speak English. And so for them to be able to translate this information is vital. And we, I truly believe that our young people are leaders. I believe that it's never too young to start developing these habits around financial literacy. And, 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 and they can handle the information. The questions that I get at the end of the sessions are really phenomenal and very sophisticated. So I think we as adults oftentimes underestimate our young people when it comes to money. And we need to be more honest with them and we need to talk about it more. And so they can have the opportunity to build a solid financial future. Um, and, and I truly believe that this is what's going to be transformational in many of our communities. I mean, as a country, we're about to enter a golden age in this country. We are the number one producer of natural gas. Uh, we are about to take over as being one of the number one producers in terms of oil in the country. We're, we're securing our future that way. We all should be able to benefit from the strong economy that we have, that's been created over the past few years and moving forward in the future. I would love to spend more time with you, Hill, talking about that because I see this as the revolution when we had Carnegie and Rockefeller when they changed the revolution of the world and how can ordinary people be a part of that evolution that's going on? That's right. We need the Hernandezes and we need the Washingtons and, and folks <laughs> like that uh, to, to match up with the, with the Carnegies, the Rockefellers and, and the Warren Buffets of the world. Hill, thank you so very much. As I wrap up, I'd like to know a couple of things. Sure. Tell me about, a little about The Boy Next Door. You're in that and <laughs> how to get more information on the uh, uh, Mass Mutual. Okay, The Boy Next Door is a fun film. It's a great popcorn movie. Jennifer Lopez is the star. I was proud to do it. I play her principal or her boss in the movie, and, and she makes some choices or does some things she probably shouldn't do, but it's just a fun popcorn movie. And the most important thing uh, as far as is following up with the Mass Mutual is go to the Mass Mutual website. It's massmutual.com and search Future Smart. You can see exa all the things that we teach there. And, and you can also really look at other, other programs that Mass Mutual offers. You know, I wouldn't be in partnership with a company if I didn't believe in what they do. I have a, a few Mass Mutual products myself uh, in terms of my own uh, uh, wealth building ideas around some of, the, some of the things that they offer. And so I do believe in the company. It's been around since 1850, and I believe in what they do, and, I, and I'm proud that they're reaching back into the community as well. Hill Harbor, you're a perfect spokesperson for this because of your clout and your dignity that you bring to your personal life from what we see into the mass market. So thank you for talking about this. Thank really you. really appreciate it. I think people will be impacted. Valder, thank you so much, and thank you for being a great voice for our community. Bye for now.